Storyteller, artist, visionary, pioneer. Expression is your mission. Imagination is your gear. If you dream a glorious dream, you want to craft it when you wake. You're on a quest to change the world with every single thing that you make. Your view is like no others and your skills set you apart. You know the world is only safe if there's still love and still art. So you strive for innovation and share your view of what you see, hoping to make your permanent mark and achieve immortality. <laughs> Introducing the creator archetype. Hi, I'm Jen Kem. I'm the CEO of the Master Brand Institute, where we guide entrepreneurs on the path to uncovering their unique message with such clarity, they can turn any conversation into a sales conversion. And today we're talking about the brand archetype called the creator. In this video, I want to give you an in-depth understanding of what it means to embody the creator brand archetype. We're going to cover strengths, weaknesses, business themes, and integrating this information into your business now. If the creator had a power statement, it's, I am the creator. I was born to create, and I inspire my audience to do the same. Whether I'm creating a new book, painting, product, solution, a new way of doing business, or anything else, I am happiest when I'm in the flow of creativity. When I get a brilliant idea, I don't just sit on it. I just go for it. I'm a maker and a doer. For me, peak joy is when I hold something in my hands and say, I made this. I believe that everyone is inherently creative and has an artist within waiting to be unleashed. I want to fill the world with color and beauty and beautiful things made with care. To me, the point of life is to create and share your creations with the world. Now, when we talk about brand archetypes, each one has a set of power words that best represent them. I think it's important to point out that the words themselves don't have to be used in every piece of your message. It's more accurate to say, when your audience reads your message, the feelings you create are these power words. So creator power words include maker, doer, beauty, art, project, completion, done, vision, creativity, imagination, nonlinear thought, nonconformity, a developed aesthetic. And a great question to ask yourself is, does my current message make me feel like these words? Moving on, one of the most important things I recommend when it comes to fully embodying your brand archetype is looking at brands who model your archetype well. I call them master brand models because that's what they are. Models of brands that masterfully embrace their archetype. When we look at these conceptual models, what you're really looking and trying to understand is the vibe or the energy they give off, not the literal look or words, though they might be useful. These are the master brands that I believe model the creator archetype excellently. Sark, Richard Branson, Etsy, Crayola, Sesame Street, Lego, Brit Plus Co, Blurb, and Andrea Schur. At its essence, the creator provokes significant change with a sudden infusion of energy. Think of it like lighting a match or the energy of chemical reaction when different elements come together. Creators have the ability to infuse energy at will into relationships, situations, businesses, and so on. They cross-pollinate solutions from unexpected sources like borrowing a popular commercial and using that as a new business strategy. They look for alternatives, harvest creative ideas, connect the dots in unusual or unexpected ways, blazing new trails in being or doing. Many people who offer transformational services have a creator archetype working for them. Moving into strategic positioning, the creator gives off a vibe that says, I seek to initiate and plow headlong into the uncharted territory in the spirit of creating a new paradigm. Strengths of this archetype include enthusiasm, originality, energetic, forging a new individuality, taking the initiative, and turning visions into reality. Recurring themes and pillars of this brand include, I am young in spirit, dynamic, and the life force pulsates within me. If it can be imagined, it can be created. I break rules in the spirit of self-expression, not recklessness. Beautifying everything around me feels good. See, the creator archetype is seen as the purest form of creative expression. They're often seen as a cultural pioneer, or frankly, the Pied Piper of the archetypes because people follow them as what they create is so beautiful and enchanting. 
Playing on all the human senses, they help bring experiences, imagination, good taste, innovation, and reinvention to business. However, this is not an archetype that sits still. They are hardworking and dedicated in their quest to help their audience tap into their own creative expression. They believe creating an experience that feels individualized yet attractive to the mass market is the key to blending the world of art and profit. Of course, all archetypes have a dark side as well. In archetypal psychology, the dark side isn't a bad thing. Simply put, these are the things that, when done, make it harder than necessary to get what you actually want. So the shadow side of the creator is that even though others aren't ready for change to happen, the creator initiates it anyways. Creators go beyond the edges of the known world, which means that people may get lost in trying to keep up with something unfamiliar. Those who receive the spark from a creator may blame them for not being the doer of whatever it is they provoke. The feelings you may experience that begin these dark side actions are over-dramatization, depression as a result of creating something without meaning, and perfectionism. Other feelings or instances that lead to dark side behavior are fear of mediocrity or judgment, internal tension, angry outbursts, not completing your creations, impatience, and a lack of sensitivity to the plight of others. Again, there's nothing wrong with these things, so don't feel shame if you experience them. It's more important to understand that these can make you start doing things that don't support what you actually want. And when they come up, identify them and pivot into what you should be doing. So what makes the creator unique in your industry? Well, the creator has a passionate need for self-expression, to be a cultural pioneer. Creating offers a means of dealing with how to out of control the world feels. They're highly imaginative, with a developed sense of the aesthetic. And this archetype often appears in environments that are reflective of good taste and a unique point of view. On a quest to create things and expressions of lasting value, the creator and their audience constantly seeks to acquire new tools to achieve this goal. They're constantly seeking out and acting upon their need for innovation, invention, and reinterpretation. Believing in the value of inner expression, they're super dedicated, hardworking, and achievement focused. And a core differentiator is creators are able to bring visions to reality and use them to create meaning in the lives of their audience. Now, let's go ahead and integrate all these concepts into your business in a meaningful way, okay? The customers of the creator archetype want to be drawn in by the idea that your business allows them to be seen as imaginative and different. Thinking of this idea, your audiences rejoice in applying your tools to create an energy that can't be ignored. The more they use your creations, the harder it is for them to say no. With enough momentum, they reach a point that no simply is an option with your brand. Consistently reminding your audience that anything they're willing to create is possible and to willfully borrow inspiration from you as you do the exact same is totally fine with them. The emotional phrases you want to stir up in your audience include, you sweep me off my feet with your raw energy. You take me to new places. You infect me with enthusiasm and a childish love for life. You help me bring my ideas to life. You make me feel like I can have anything I can dream up. Here are some of the key things that are not the creator's gem. Stay away from anything that isn't an independent initiative or fueled by self-motivated action. Because the energetic or enthusiastic pursuit of strategic goals is so important to the creator, feeling pushed into something will quickly kill their momentum. Keep far away from anything that invokes feeling of being static, out of the box, too straight-laced, or corporate -y. Some important things to remember as your creator is your audience sees you as courageous, enterprising, and willful. So use it to your advantage. Humans love how creativity soothes and heals the restless doer within. Through creativity, people build self-esteem because they get to experience something they've actually created with their own hands. The creator archetype gives their audiences the accomplishment energy of, wow, I did that. This is a feel-good trigger that makes your customers come back for more because it's all about them. By putting your client's accomplishment front and center in your marketing campaigns, it's easy to build a compelling, newsworthy brand. And finally, some feature and positioning angles to draw more attention for your offer are 
create products that encourage self-expression, choice, options, innovation, or simply feels artistic. Focus on your freedom for your audience to build your own creation instead of using done-for-you options. Remind your audience of the time allocation when using your products to ensure they're able to finish creating what they start. And a final word for the creator. While you're creating an environment where clients create their own desires, make sure that you create experiences that allow you to do the same. Creators find structure and peace in their art. Build your following and revenue by bringing on a team that helps you execute in alignment with your vision. Make the investment in yourself to bring on support to systemize the company so that you can freely create. Now the question is, what do you do with this information we've shared today? Well, there are two options. First, if you're sitting here wondering, am I a creator? Then you're gonna wanna take my brand archetype assessment. This in-depth psychological assessment is the only archetype test on the internet that's been recognized by a top collegiate school of psychology. Basically, this is not some BuzzFeed quiz or clickbait you take for funsies. This is a deep dive into the psychology that makes your brand unique in the marketplace. Second, if you already know your brand archetype mix, then you wanna check out my archetypal storytelling workshop. With over six hours of content, this in-depth program will give you both a conceptual and practical understanding of using your brand archetype in your business. By the end of it, you'll have identified several stories from your life that can be shared to attract more high quality, high paying clients. You can find more information about that down below. And that's it. If you found value in this content, please hit the thumbs up button below so we can get this video in front of more entrepreneurs like us who wanna help get crystal clear on their unique message. And be sure to also hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified when new content is released. I'm Jen Kem, here to help you elevate how the world sees, hears, and pays you. Until next time.